wonderful. My axe is pleased to hear that. It won't take long. Good day, your majesty. Hmm. Is it true that a boy with a tail is traveling with a princess? Yes! That accursed monkey! I shall give you an extra reward if you take care of him! I was right. I'll take care of your request after I finish here. Reporting! The Alexandrian fleet has returned to home waters. Please prepare to depart on the Red Rose. Oh, finally! We leave immediately! <laughs> Meanwhile, on the Pinnacle Rocks. Mother. Ugh. Ugh. Freudian dreams. Ego. Super ego. Protection. I. I. Electric complex. Vivimus! We made it? Huh? Where are we? We're at Pinnacle Rocks. It's supposed to be near Lindblom Castle. Pinnacle Rocks? Lindblom? Aw, oh, crap, she's got amni- Oh, no, good, she remembers. Okay. The Gargant took us this far? Oh. Where's Carmen? Uh, Pansy and, and Beatrix? And... Uh, Jeton? Well, he went to check- Hey, Fleuray, you're awake. Hey, do you feel okay? Where is everyone, Jatan? I don't know. We're really far from Alexandria. Hey, hey, don't worry. <laughs> the Tantalus guys are with them, too. It's almost nightfall. They're probably in Trano by now. Do you think we can borrow an airship in Lindlum? Trano's only steps away if we reach South Gate. Yeah... Ah, oh, crap. Old creeper. Don't you hate it when creepy old ghost men listen in on your conversations? I know I do. Anyway, are you our enemy? That is up to you. My name is Ramu. I've heard your name somewhere. <gasps> <clears throat> I've seen your name in a book I've read, uh, about summoning magic. You must be Ramu, the, the Thunder God. <laughs> Do you know that your summon magic destroyed Pera? <coughs> no. And it all follows its summoner's orders. It responded to the orders of a woman filled with greed this time. No. Mother. I, I, I can't believe it. I was confined while Clara was destroyed. It wasn't your fault, Fleuray. They knew. that. That's why they stayed behind. Everyone... True. You were not the one who caused the destruction. But I must ask you, what will you do now? Go in a Disney world- I mean, Lindblom. If I were more powerful, if I, I could use summon magic, I, I beg of you, please, help me. And cause more destruction. No, I... 
I was afraid of my summon magic, but but not anymore. Many years have passed since I last served a master. Uh, let's try a different voice for that. <clears throat> Not quite able to get the uh, booming in there. What did I get dammited for? <clears throat> I must test to see whether you are truly fit to be my master. I will hide five manifestations of myself in this forest. Each one will carry a piece of the hero's story. Collect all five, and then send it to me in a postage paid return envelope. If you put together the story to my satisfaction, I shall become your Adol. I'm sorry. I, I know we must hurry. It's okay, Flore. <clears throat> I'll help you too. Thanks, you two. Well, I see a chunk of Rama down there. Hey, Monty, you have a letter. Hey, thanks for delivering this from Mosh, Koopa! Hey, Mon Monty, were you able to escape the evil forest? Koopa, I think this continent is headed for some serious disaster. It might be too late by the time we realize it. Escaping the petrified evil forest was quite a task, Koopa! I escaped by following some suspicious-looking people. Save. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot, I forgot to re-equip first. Blah, words, thanks. So, let's see what we can equip here. Ogre is currently his most powerful, so let's see that. He can get Stone Killer. I. He. How is he killing these stones? Dessert boots, arena boots, coral ring, glass buckle, magician shoes, yellow scarf. Uh, yeah, I get the yellow scarf, I guess. He's it's really actually pretty far ahead. Lightning staff, let's see, maybe flame. Party is actually surprisingly up to snuff. Um, <laughs> Meanwhile, Garnet is behind on everything. It's not your fault, Garnet. You were in the, you were in the slow party. Just learn ability up from that, and we can scoot magician shoes to teach her clear headed. That'll be good. All right. Let's take a look at abilities. Okay. So. Yay! Chests. And a mithril vest! Yay! Ah! And there's still monsters. Because of course there are.
Oh, come on! You were a boss, like, three weeks ago. I was also a bit weaker then. Ah! <clears throat> yeah, like... Oh, the Zognol was the, uh... big boss of the, uh... uh Festival of the Hunt back in Lindblom. So the fact that suddenly he's like... You know, Vivi can take him down in two hits... Uh, how the mighty have fallen. Let's see, I saw a Brahmo around here. Yes! Historian's explanation. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect, to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. That's human. You have four to go. I think that may have been the end of the story. Ah! Creepy old man! With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the Adamantwas in the Snowfield Cabin, Cavern and acquired a goddess bell they needed to enter the Empire's castle. That's cooperation. You have three to go. Received another ogre. Here's Jatan. Equip another one. Here, this one's sharp and fresh. Oh, um, that is Ramu, Josh. Um, the, uh, you know, the traditional lightning set. Ah! Old man! On their way home, they fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter Nelly about the tragedy. That's silence. You have two to go. Everywhere. Once upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph, who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troop, he gladly accepted their plea for help. They headed for a cavern in the snowfield. That's beginning. You have one to go. By the way, in case anyone's curious, um, what he's the story he's telling is actually the, a uh, s section of the plot from Final Fantasy II. I can't get back up here once I jump off, but I can get to that treasure chest. Treasure! Mithril arm. Oh, another one. Oh well, it's stuff. There's one left of me. Are you going to give up? Nope, not yet. Okay, so he's the end, and I still need to find number four. Or er, five. Three, my lord. Let's cast Darkness on the healer. 
actually, she doesn't have blind eye. 